Sagittarius! Welcome back to the channel. This is Gwendolyn, or welcome if it's your first time. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my stars who watch consistently. You guys are the reason why I have this channel, so I just want to say I appreciate you and thank you for tuning in every month, or um, you know more often as the case may be, when I have other videos up. And also, if you'd like to check out, I have a um, course on learning the tarot. If you ever want to learn more about the tarot, I have one, a course that is hosted through Daily Ohm. Um, and it's about the 22 major arcana cards. You get a video with each one, and you get descriptions and reversals and astrological correlations. So if you're ever interested in that, you can either purchase it through Daily Ohm or you could just email me and then I'll send you a link to purchase it. It's ten dollars. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get into Sagittarius. We've got a full moon in Gemini happening on December 3rd and then we have a new moon in Sag coming up. Let me just check the date on this. Um, new moon on the 18th in Sagittarius. So, with those things coming in, you see, full moon for you, Sag, is going to be in your opposite sign, your seventh house. So it's going to be shining a light on your partnerships December 3rd. And then, and maybe some completions there, maybe something to release, or something's being illuminated, something's coming to fruition. And then um, on the 18th, we have the new moon in your sign. Um, so that's a new, you know, a time of new, planting a new seed for the identity, for the self. If you want to um, sort of like turn a new leaf or become a new you, a new version of you over the next six months, it's a great time to plant that seed and, and watch that nurture and develop over the course of the next six months in terms of your selfhood, your identity, how you present yourself to the world because it's happening in your first house of the self and of identity. And new moons are great times to begin new things, to start things, to plant a seed. So let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius for December. Hope you all have been having beautiful holidays and continue to. I always enjoy this time of year. So let's see for Sagittarius. Okay, Ace of Wands. Yep. The Ace of Fire right here, starting the month off, um, but it's in reverse, so it's telling me that you've got a new beginning coming in, but for some reason, there may be some fear, doubt, or resistance to going forward with that. So the way I read that, Sag, is that you're ready under the surface for a new beginning. You're ready for this new, passionate, um, new thing or new life, new vitality. That's what all all these, because it's fire and you're a fire sign, Sag, um, it's all these things that normally correspond to you in terms of wands. It's vitality, passion, energy, life. It's sort of like when the spring is coming. And I always, when I see Ace of Wands, I always talk about how this is like the baton twirler out in front of the parade. You know, the person who's leading the charge or in a race. This is the person who's holding the baton, and this is the active runner. So it's like saying, aces are new beginnings, and it's like saying, I'm ready for a fresh start. I'm ready for some new life. I'm ready for new vitality, new energy, new passion, new action, all those fire words. Um, but in reverse, it's just saying, I'm ready, but maybe not yet. <laughs> it's kind of saying, like, I'm ready under the surface, but I'm not ready on the surface. I always look at cards in reverse as that the energy is here, but it's being suppressed, it's being muted, it's it's under the surface. It's not coming to the surface in its own natural vibrancy. It's like behind a dirty windshield or, or through, a, through a glass darkly, as they say. So what I see here is the opening of December is... There's, you're, t you're ready for a new beginning. There's something to do with collaborative projects, creativity. 
that may be in delay, it may be holding you back. That may be also why this new beginning is, is holding you back, that you're waiting to finish up something that you're collaborating with. Maybe a money-making venture, maybe a creative venture. But Three of Coins is, is usually with other people. It can sometimes signify artistry or creativity, but usually it's collaboration with others on group projects. And there may be something that you feel like you need to finish before you can go forward, but it's hard to finish it. Sag, I'm seeing like it's kind of weighing you down. It's kind of like, gosh, I just need to slog through the final last bits of this. I'm tired of carrying this weight, but I need to get through it. And once you do, you actually become sort of the young, youthful side of yourself. This is Page of Wands. And so I'm reading this as you said. This is the person who's open, who's willing. He's got lots, he or she has lots of energy and is just like, put me in the race. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to like take action. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to um, just step up and get in it. So opening of the month, it says you're ready for something, but you may have a project to finish, especially if it features group projects. It may it may take like an extra push to finish this thing. It feels like hard work is what I'm seeing. But it's worthwhile. And it actually, once you finish that, this is a 10. 10s are about completions. Then you feel renewed. You feel like, um, gosh, I feel fresh again. I feel like I have energy again. I feel like a teenager again. This may be wrapping up right around that full moon in Gemini, Sag, because... Full moons are when we complete something or when we let go of something. And this may, it may have something to do with a partnership, like a business partnership that could be featured with three of coins energy and that you want this new fresh start, but you don't feel like you can get to it until you finish and complete whatever business partnership, group dynamic, um, creative thing, multiple streams of income. That's all three of coins energy. So it's something that you've been working on or a project or business venture or something like that. When I'm seeing it, the full moon in your seventh house in Gemini, it's, it's saying that there's a full moon that is completing something in terms of your relationship. So you may be leaving a business partnership with someone, or you may be like completing a investment that you you know, invested in and now you've reaped the rewards from it or that you put in certain amount of time towards a project and now it's finally finished. It's been hard to complete it. But then once it does, you feel free and released and renewed. Pages are sometimes too about communication. So you may get some communication that allows you to say, oh, I want to set off on this new journey. I want to ask questions about this. I want to find out about this. This is I'm really seeing this as you being curious about something, Sag and wanting to pursue it and saying, oh, I have all this time now. I have all this energy. I have all this vitality because this, I knew a new beginning was coming, but I wasn't ready for it until this wrapped up and now here it is. So I get that this happens soon after the full moon. And then towards the middle of the month, you it's all swords. So you're gonna maybe be in your head a little bit in the middle of the month. And I'm going to encourage you that instead of feeling stuck or hung up or, you know, um, this can be, two of swords can be a card of stasis, feeling static, feeling like I don't know whether to go left or right, I don't know whether to choose between this option or that option, I don't know, you know, whether to go left or to go up or down, I don't know which way to go, therefore I'm just not going to make any choice, I'm going to blindfold myself and check out. Instead of having that experience, Sag, which is here, possibly, I'm just going to say, you know, maybe it's a good time to meditate on it. Maybe you don't need to make a decision. This is a card of indecision, and this is a card of just meditation. So this just means waiting, hanging your thoughts up on a wall, and taking a breather, taking a time out. I often call this card rest and relaxation because we see the um, warrior there, who's resting and gathering his strength to fight another day. And it's really, you know, it's it's really a possibility that when you get in your head, you can feel victim mentality, like I feel captive, I feel powerless, I feel hopeless, I don't know who to trust, um, I feel like everybody's out to get their own. But it's really a time, Sad, when you can reflect on things, and that's what I'm looking at this card for, where you can think, you know, well, 
weighing the pros and cons of things. What what is better if I go left or right? What do I really want? What is what is most important to me? And it can be also reflecting on past struggles or conflicts and seeing what the insights and the wisdom is from each of those. So really, I'm going to also encourage you to look to your past and maybe things that didn't work out the way that you wanted them to and help that inform you in your decision-making process. Because even though this card, Five of Swords, can sometimes mean conflict or someone who is has open dishonor, is, is lying or cheating out in the open, sort of like, I can do whatever I want because I can get away with it, and power struggles. Five of Swords also has the meaning of picking up the pieces, gathering insights. Um, because this is a swords card, all of these swords represent ideas, belief, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. It's all that mind, air energy. And I always see this card as picking up the pieces where you're gathering insights, wisdom, beliefs, um, new ideas, from looking at something that the sun has set on it, you know, that's a past conflict. All Everybody's gone from the battlefield, and this person is just picking up the swords that are left over because there are insights to be gained from that. So what I'll say is that if, even if in the middle of the month, Sag, you have a tendency to be in your head or thinking about things or having a difficult time with a decision, you know, really look to the past to gain the insights and just meditate upon it. You don't have to, um, you don't have to feel like you're surrounded by all these thoughts that are trapping you. You don't. You can eliminate, you know, if you find yourself in this sort of stressful feeling situation, feeling hopeless, feeling um, powerless, feeling captive, she's the only person who's there. She's the only one who is not seeing things clearly. I also want to point out too in both of these cards that are sitting right next to one another, look at what they have in common. They both have a blindfold on. So they're not seeing things clearly. You're gonna have to take a time out. Even this person has a helmet on where they, they're not seeing outward. They need to look within in the middle of the month. Otherwise you may feel stuck is what I'm seeing. And you don't have to. You can take of these eight swords you can eliminate six of them and just say, okay, well, I'm not going to worry about these six things. This is a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of, like, beliefs that are imprisoning you. And if you can just get rid of most of them, you could say, okay, well, what's the basis of the situation? I'm really down to two things. I need to choose this or I need to choose that. It's really that I go this way or that I go that way. So middle of the month, clear out what's unnecessary that's keeping you stuck, that at least turns you right back up, you know, to upright. But then you still may feel stuck in not knowing which way to go. But I'm going to encourage you to take your time, meditate upon it, take a breather, rest and relax. Sometimes you sad just want to go like full charge ahead. You like being in motion. You like being enthusiastic, energetic. You know, you like being Page of Wands energy. You're ready. You're ready to go. But I'm going to say it's going to really serve you in the middle of the month, Sag, in December, to reflect upon what didn't work out in the past, to get rid of what's unnecessary. That's another echo of this card here. But in this in this case, it's, it's what you're carrying. In this case, it's what's in your thoughts. Wheedle it down to the most necessary elements of what your decision is about. And then really meditate upon it. Hang those swords up on the wall. Hang those thoughts up on a wall. And use the insights from past things, past conflicts that are, are done to help you go forward. And look at what you, look at where you end up. Beautiful. Temperance. This is your card, Sag. This is the Angel of Peace. And notice the difference between this card and this card. They're both about facing two elements. This one is like one or the other and I don't know which one to choose. This one is about finding compromise. And that's what the third, that's what that triangle represents on the angel's chest here is because it represents finding that middle ground that is a compromise between these two hearts. In this case, it's two thoughts. But the angel of peace comes about when we find moderation, when we find the middle ground, when we find something that serves the needs of both. So you can actually ask yourself, what is it between these two options that I'm choosing between uh, that can serve me? And how can I find a solution that brings me the most amount of peace 
and the most amount of balance because that's where you're headed and I really think that spending the time doing some R&R &R, middle of the month especially if you feel overwhelmed and like you're not seeing clearly you're, you're checking out you feel hopeless or powerless taking a breather is really really gonna help you and also including and pondering on things that didn't work out in the past and the wisdom and the insight that you gained from that look at where it brings you towards the end of the month Sag so this is beautiful this is you this is you feeling at peace and guess what else you feeling like independently happy wealthy on top of your game you know having your stuff together in picking picking grapes and enjoying the sweet grapes that are around wearing jewels you know it's this is a card of great contentment even just being by yourself it's like I I've, I've got it together I've I've saved for a rainy day I've put myself in a nice position is what this card says so really nice place to be once you get through all the swords energy this is really just a test of seeing if you can focus and control your mind letting go of some of those excess thoughts deciding you know what's really important about the choices that are in front of me and taking the time to meditate upon that you know hang it up on a wall and include insights from things that didn't work out in the past really gonna serve you that's what's gonna bring you here Saj beautiful stuff this is you and this is you too being at peace being feeling independent feeling um, feeling great and then right around the new moon right around the 18th this could come a little bit after the new moon because it's sort of towards the end of the spread but I see you wanting to walk away from something but not not feeling ready yet. So this is Eight of Cups, which is feeling weary, feeling like ready for the next chapter, being ready to move on. Um, but in the reverse, it's sort of saying just like this one. And this was in this case, it was ready to start something new. In this case, it's ready to let something go. But you're not quite ready to let it go yet. You may just be sort of thinking about letting something go because you may be evaluating and saying, you know, is this fair? Am I getting out of this what I want? Six of Coins is about balance and equitability and fairness. And like, is what I put in what I get out of it? And if I put in this much work, am I being compensated fairly? Is If I'm in a relationship, is there equal say between the two people? So I really get a sense towards the end of the month when you're feeling fabulous and feeling balanced and have thought, you know, kind of come out of this deep thinking that you're not going to tolerate anything that is out of balance or out of whack or you're going to be ready to walk away from anything that feels you know that you're putting in more effort than you're getting out that you're spending time towards something and you're not really getting results or the um, you're not getting the return on the time that you're putting into it that's what I'm seeing here is that you may not be actually ready to walk away yet and this could be a relationship, a job, a house, anything that you've put a lot of your heart into, Sag. Um, if you're not getting the results and the fairness and the equitability and the balance that you want to see, you're, you're going to be getting ready to walk away from it. You may not walk away from it in December, but you're preparing for that is what it tells me. The fact that it's in reverse tells me it may just be in delay, but it's under the surface here. That may be something you're thinking about. So that's my reading for you, Sag, for December. I hope all of you have beautiful holidays. I hope you really enjoy the time um, just being here in Nine of Coins and Temperance. This is, shows me you're going to have a lot of peace that you can bring to yourself right around the holidays. So enjoy that, Sag, and I hope all of you have a wonderful end of the year. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to put those below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can always do that. I have lots of different um, options. I have three card readings, half an hour readings. I do relationship readings, one hour readings. And I have I do those all with numerology, astrology. I run your chart, uh, love cards, cards of destiny, and of course, tarot. Uh, so you can always email me to book one of those. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Sag. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching Yours and the Stars. Have a great end of the year.